Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to be showing you how you can make a currency converter using 10 simple lines of python. So let's get started. So now I am in my desktop and I will quickly jump onto my text editor. So this is the code that we would be writing and in addition you also need a currency table of uh, the major currencies of uh, the world. So these are all the, this is the currency table that I have uh, got from the net. I will also leave some links in the description to my GitHub repository so you can clone it from there. So right here, this is the code that we would be writing. I will first show you how it works. So I'll just run the Python file through terminal. And I have set this to INR. So right here, I'm gonna enter an amount, maybe 500 rupees. And uh, it is uh, telling me to enter a value in which I have to convert 500 uh, rupees to. So I want it to be converted to US dollar. And as you can see, it has written that 500 INR is equal to 6.794 US dollar. So it can convert anything into anything and it uh, also quits the program after the work is done. So right here, I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, so I'm going to step by step guide you through the whole coding process. First, you have to open the currency.txt file. So you just have to specify with open, you have to specify the currency.txt file and remember the currency.txt file is uh, has to be in the same directory of this python file or you have to specify the whole path where you have saved that file so then you have to just specify as f and here you have to specify lines so lines is equals to f dot readable so read line and then parenthesis then you can come out of uh, the indent and currency dict currency dict that is the currency table and we are going to specify it as an open string and right here i am going to create a for loop so for line in lines for line in lines you have to specify a colon and after that you just have to write parsed so parsed is equals to line dot Split parenthesis backslash t. Yeah, and after you've done that, you just have to specify currency currency dict bracket parsed again a bracket zero, and then you have to uh, specify equals to parsed one. Yeah, after that is done you can come out of the for loop and you can specify another variable amount so right here you uh, you have to uh, take the input from the user and uh, of what amount the user wants to put in so i'm just gonna create it as an integer so int i'm gonna take the input and the input would be a string so another set of parentheses and then i'm, I'm gonna specify to enter the or enter amount so after done that you just have to specify a colon and then backslash n and after that is done you can head on to the next line that is you have to print enter the name of the current uh, currency you want to convert this inr amount to so in print you have to specify to enter the name of the currency the name of the currency you want to convert this amount to and then i have to specify the available options that we have so available options yeah and that's it and you can also type a backslash in if you want that will just uh, come to the next line so after that is done you just have to uh, create uh, so you have to print you have to print the item so in print you have to specify the item and then you have to create a for loop so for item in currency dict dot keys parenthesis yeah and after that is done you just have to specify currency so currency is equal to take the input so 
to input please enter one of these values so you have to specify to take the input of please enter one of these values and then a set of uh, colon so after that is done you can head to the next line that is you have to print the uh, so you have to print the uh, you have to print that uh, you have to print the last statement that uh, this inr is equals to this in the currency that you have chosen so you have to specify f and a set of uh, quotation marks then amount amount and inr is equal to uh, so this set of inr is equal to the amount so i'm going to amount and that would be asterisk float and that would be currency dict so c u r r e n c y d i c t currency dict another set of parentheses that would specify currency and so that would be bracket close bracket close bracket close bracket close yeah and after that is done you just have to uh, specify another set of brackets and that would be currency yeah and that's it so that is the whole code you, uh, that you need for this project and after you've done with that you can just test the code if you want as you can see it is uh, prompting us to enter the amount i would uh, have to convert it to thai t h a i b a h t so i have to convert it into this so as you can see it has told me this so yeah, this is a really great project if you are a beginner and you are starting to learn python and if you like this video please uh, smash the like button down there and if you want more python tutorials and ethical hacking tutorials please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time